Hello, um, we're back on our favourite sea glass beach. Jackie's down there. Excuse the shaking this, I'm filming this on my phone. Turn you around. Yeah, we're back on our favourite uh, sea glass beach. Probably a bit windy. Um, probably hear the wind. But this is the beach that so many of you commented on about the glass that we find here. It's all small and perfectly rounded off well not all of it but most of it loads of arrays of different colors there's just loads of it but we will never tire of coming here there's a bigger bit look at that lovely Oh, drop that bit. Oh, it's just buried. It's a nice little aqua colour bit. All a bit of white next to it. A bit of brown. Look. Perfect for jewellery making. And other crafts. So, nice bit of aqua colour. Do like that. I've found a couple of bits of blue. Right, uh, I'll be careful not to drop any, but... This is about half of what I've collected in half an hour. Look at all that. Lovely. No, no Jackie said she's found a couple of bits of cobalt blue up there as well. So I'm just working my way towards her. See what comes up. Seems to be lots of brown to, around today. A little bit of green in there. Alright, I don't know how long we're going to be here because it's um, set to be rainy and stormy today. And a couple of bits. That one's a little bit sharp, so I'll leave that one to the elements. Just a bit of clear. This is the perfect beach for sea glass. I love it. I could spend days down here. Once you start looking in between the stones. Just had this nice array of colours and shapes. All from this one little patch here and there's still plenty here. Leave that bit to the element, it's not quite smooth. Great little spot, it's just loads of it. A bit of green there, and a bit of aqua there. Right, to see what Jackie does with our sea glass pod um, that we collect, um, she's done a project, she filmed the process, and I'll be adding that in at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Jackie and her daughter up there collecting but yeah she created something really nice with sea glass and some blueware pottery and she did film the process so it'll be the end of the video guys so have a look at that beautiful Hello, well we finally managed to get our week away hopefully and um, we popped down to Plymouth to see my daughter which I'm sure Doug's also talking about. I haven't actually got my proper camera on me because we weren't expected to come down to the beach because of the weather but there's been a quick lull so we've brushed down and my daughter's got a load in her pocket because I can't carry it all so I wasn't prepared at all but uh, it's just everywhere. It is amazing. I love this beach. Lots of little ring making. I don't know if you can see all of those. 
you look closely you can see the colours and I'll pick up as much as I can another little bit hiding there look a little bit of green you see that right hang on there it is right there so I'll be picking those up and we'll show you the stash at the end two nice colours together there light green oh dropped it and amber well yellow not amber oh it's four pieces there look and there there's that much here you could sit down in a spot for five ten minutes and find stuff. Right, I'm gonna go over to Jackie because she said she's found a bit of multicoloured grass. You don't find that often when you any beach. <laughs> oh, I'm walking past loads of uh, glass. Oh wow, look at that. But I think it might be if I turn it over, it's probably a marble. Yeah it does, it's an old marble, it's been worn away. Oh, it's still second. How cool was that? That looked lovely polished up, wouldn't it? Yep. Great stuff. Oh, I'm going to head back that way because I've seen, I've come past some major pockets of glass. See if we can find them again. I can just see my footsteps. Oh, here we go. Piece there. This little aqua piece there. Wait there, wait there, brown. I don't know what the wind noise is going to be like. I don't normally film with my phone, but we thought we'd only pop down here for a little while because of the impending weather. I've got no protection through the wind on this phone. What's that? Is that white or looks yellow? No, oh, it is off white. Nice colour that. Okay, so this is less than five minutes worth. And as Jug just showed you, you'll see on his bit, I found a marble that's been worn away. And it looks like a multi. So it's a false multi, but I'm happy with that. But how did I manage to find that in all of this? So I'm going to take you with me for a minute. I'm just going to put those in my pocket. I've got very little pockets. I said I was not prepared for this at all. But once you're here, you can't stop. So let's have a look. There's a nice bit right there. Some bits I'm leaving because they're not quite ready yet. They'll be there for the next time, won't they? Need a bit more rounding off. I did see a bit over here just now. There it is. Look at that beautiful green bit. A couple of bits here, look. Another heart. Another white bit. Brown bit. Green, green. Nice little olive green there. rain. Another bit there. Mad. I love this beach. Just spotted a lovely bit of blue down here. What a gorgeous piece of glass. All smooth. That's quite a nice bit. Some of them you have to look really carefully because if you, they actually look like stones, but when you pick them up, clearly that's glass. Let's put that back in my pocket. Mm. 
There's a lot of colors I don't know where to go See a lot of colors Only feeling blue There's a lot of colors Lost within a haze Don't rely on others To get you through the maze The dreams are not the same for me Array of colours coming up, but aquas, gorgeous. Okay, my poor daughter, her pockets are full. Look at that bit of green, isn't that gorgeous? It is literally, I can't describe it, it's just everywhere. And I'd wish I bought my camera and I wish I bought my finds bag. But you have to do with the phone. Look at that. Brilliant for jewellery making. I've got a few bits I want to keep because they're larger. But a lot of these, I think we've decided. I think Doug's going to do something with them and he'll tell you about that later. Quite a lot of brown. getting too full. Nice little bit of amber there. Look at those just together. Look at this porcelain marble. That I've just found. Wow, battered by the sea. That's really cool, I like that. A nice little bit of brown down there, round it off. I did see some more over here, I guess. A little bit of aqua there. That's the other bit there. Nice bit of brown. There seems to be a lot more amber than normal on it. Just amazing this beach. Oh look at that. See that bit there? That's a nice colour. I really popped down here for a walk along the beach. Now I've got a massive pocket full of sea glass. Lots of browns. Another nice bit there, look. Another piece of aqua. Nice amber bits. Right, I found a couple of pieces like this. And it looks jet black. But as soon as you hold it up to the light. You see that? It's dark green. Oh, look at that lovely piece. Okay, I've got another handful. And I'm about to put it in my daughter's pocket because my hand is full, but look at all those colours. <clears throat> Just amazing. There is a blue bit in there which I didn't find. 
Lee found it. But I think it's a bit buried. Hang on, see if I can see it. There we go. You can see it there. Obviously the blues are few and far between, so we get well excited when we find them. And that's her second bit, so she's very pleased. More treasure. Look at all that. That's in a space of five minutes. Doug sat over there. Lee's up behind me, but she's regretted I don't film her, so I will respect her. Uh, look. It's just everywhere. Doing my back in a bit, but I'm enjoying it too much to worry about that. I'll suffer later. Bit of green tucked right in there, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, right in the middle. A tiniest little piece of cobalt blue there. Some nice nugget shaped ones coming up. Look at that, it's almost like pebble shaped. Green glass. Colour in that, lovely. Right, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, last week we hit 1,000 subscribers. And we're extremely pleased about that. Thank and you. we'd like to say thank you to all our subscribers who watch these videos and all the new ones that have come on board. Nice for you to join us. And as a giveaway, all the glass that I've collected from today, and I've got about a pound of sea glass in my pocket. Some more in my hand. Jackie's got some more. Get the camera angle right. Not used <laughs> to filming on my phone, so it's probably a bit windy as well and noisy. Sorry about we the quality of the vid. All, we? No, we were just coming out for a walk. Yeah, so all the sea glass I've collected from today, and there's quite a bit of it. If you want it, you must be subscribed. You must be subscribed to the channel. Just put a comment down below saying, I oh, want it. That's all you got to do. And then I'll put the names of all the subscribers into a drawer and pick someone out. And there are some amazing jewellery, there's amazing bits there that for ring making and stuff like that. So yeah, it's some really well good bits. And really nicely rounded off. And also, like I said earlier in the video, stay tuned because Jackie's going to show you her project of what she does with sea glass and it's amazing. And I've got some more on the way. Yeah. Um, if you like the video, give it the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. Hit the notifications bell so you know when we're uploading again. Ping. And thanks again for all your support. Thanks again. Thank you very much. Okay, hi. Um, unfortunately, the footage that we I made of making my project has been lost. Um, it was on a different laptop that ended up getting wiped, so I'm really sorry about that. So I'm going to make a short video just to explain how I did and how I made made this little piece of art that I've done. Um, originally it was just a test practice, it was just a test sample just to see how I could do because I've never done anything like that before. Um, but as it turned out my stepdaughter wanted it for her son for his bedroom so I personalised it. So anyhow let's get on with it. So the frame is literally just a very cheap, you see that? cork board which I bought from a local store wasn't much money at all it was literally £1.49 um, I already had some glue and I bought a small pot of grout as well and again that was £1.49 um, so I started off just with the fish um, and got it how I liked it um, and then obviously added the glass the glue I used was a wet contact glue, so I had to spray it and stick it on. And I was in two minds to whether to grout it or not, but when I finished it, it definitely needed grouting. So I had a go, and that's that's what I've got. Um, I am pretty pleased with it, as soon as it's my first attempt. Obviously, there's room for improvement, as there always is. As we all know, when you first start doing something, it's a little bit of trial and error. And I wanted to do a little bit more than just my jewellery making. Um, these bits are all bits that I found um, and 
my favorite way of doing it is literally just to do the wire wrapping um, i did try some other methods which i've watched some videos on um, but i like things simple and i like them to look pretty and clear rather than too busy i did try and do some other ones one of which i did like a tree of life which my stepdaughter has got because uh, she really enjoyed it so i've given that to her yeah and i'm hoping to make some more things i like the idea of working with cork because if i can make some like placemats or if when i get some jars i'm going to do some sea glass on those as well I thought there'd be a nice thing that you can put the jar on rather than put it straight on the surface and I thought working with cork means that the bottom is going to be soft so you can put it on any surface so it's not going to scratch any surface or anything like that. Um, I'm really sorry about the footage unfortunately it's just one of those things. It did show the stages of how I made it um, obviously just sort of faffing around and getting the idea together and then popping the fish on and then putting the glass in and then grouting it. I had to grout it a couple of times because there were a few holes. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed doing it. It did take a bit of time. I wasn't sure that it was going to be any good. But everyone who's looked at it has told me that it is. And obviously I'm my own worst critic, as I'm sure many of you are for yourselves. But yeah, I'm pleased with it and I hope to make some more. So I would really appreciate some feedback. Let me know what you think. Put a comment in the link below down at the bottom and obviously if you like the video then thumbs up uh subscribe and you know keep watching us because there'll be more to come thank you